Boom. Boom. Bam. Just got new lights. All right. How's it going? How are y'all doing? So, last week we talked about videography for beginners. This week we're going to be going over camera basics, basics of your camera, what a camera is, know your camera, understand it. Because last week we talked about three things to be a good videographer know your camera, know your environment, be creative. This week we're going to talk about that first one knowing your camera. <clears throat> Guys, I'm sorry. Bear with my voice, okay? I have felt like crap for days, but let's go ahead and just jump on in anyways. All right, so the three major things to your camera, all right? That is the body, the lens, and the viewfinder. Basically, the body of your camera is like your brain, the lens is like your eyes, and the viewfinder just lets you see everything that's going on, okay? So the body is basically gonna process your image. It's gonna be like your remote controller. It's gonna control everything that's going on in the image of the lens which is like your eyes okay so let's dive in a little bit more into each one of those and here we go got to understand the body up on top you've got your dial that's going to be your shooting modes right okay shooting modes that's going to be sport auto portrait landscape manual aperture priority shutter priority those different modes on your dial are going to manipulate your image in a different way through different settings now <clears throat> Once you get a bit, get a little, a little meaner into it, get a little, bit, a little bit more professional, get get all, get all into it. You're gonna start shooting manual, and you're gonna start actually changing those settings yourself. For right now, I'm just gonna explain to you what those different modes kind of do. So if you've got auto, that's gonna manipulate your image with whatever the camera's seeing. It's gonna choose a function that's kind of the best for the picture that it is looking at. If you have on portrait it's going to understand that you're trying to take a picture of somebody, it's gonna change the settings to make it look good for that person. If you have it on landscape, it's gonna kinda of open it all up so it can see everything that it's in its view because it wants to get everything out in front and looking good. If you go to close up, the little flower icon or whatever, that's gonna change it to where you've got a really crisp, blurred background and the focus is all nice and crisp and it's gonna look good on a close up image. Every one of these modes is gonna do something different. Once you get into manual, then you're gonna start changing all of that yourself by changing three major things, your aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Next video, probably later on in the future, I don't know. But those, those are your shooting modes. Button on the front, that's your shutter button. That is exactly what you're gonna use if you're doing photography. Click, boom, picture, taken. Almost forgot to mention it. Off on video, that's gonna be you're off on switch, obviously, but it is a little bit more complicated because on means photography and the video means video. This is not hard. So that's that little side over there, right? Got that all kind of situated out. There's a dial over there too that just adjusts all kinds of different things that you're set on. So if you're set on the um, shutter, it's gonna adjust your shutter up and down. If you're set on ISO, it's gonna adjust your ISO up and down. Up on the very top, you'll see a little silver spot. That's where you have a hot shoe mount. It's where you can mount a mic, you can mount a, a light, you can mount all kinds of different things up on top of your camera. Coming onto the back of it. This is where you kind of dive into a little bit more of your personalizing settings, your shooting modes, your picture profiles, all on that LCD screen. Uh, you can you can actually click the Q button. That's going to take you into your settings. Um, what kind of autofocus you're going to want to use. You're adjusting your white balance, adjusting all kinds of different stuff from the back of the camera, right? Okay, so that's going to be more into your settings. And then for the other basics, you got to have a battery. Batteries typically go up on the uh, bottom or on the side. And then you've got a couple other ports too. So you got a microphone jack most of the times. You've got maybe a uh, micro USB or a USB-C or maybe even a uh, mini HDMI, whatever you may have on the side to connect your camera to different equipment, right? And then moving on to the front of the camera, you've got your lens. Every lens is gonna give you a different look, right? So for instance, the lens I'm shooting on right now, it's a 17 to 55 Sigma lens. So that means at its widest, it's gonna look like this. Boom, this is its widest, okay? And then I can zoom it all the way in, and this is the tightest shot it's gonna have. It's gonna actually let me change how far zoomed in and how far zoomed out I am. I gotta get this off of my face. Okay, 
Now you see that 17 to 55, those are your focal lengths, okay? Those are your fields of view, I guess. So 17 being your widest, 55 being all the way zoomed in. That's a zoom lens. Now you've also got other types of lenses, which are like prime lenses. Like this guy right here. I just grabbed it up off of my shelf up there. This is the Nifty 50, okay? Haley just got it for me for Christmas. Love this thing. This is a prime lens, right? Basically what this means is this is a 50 millimeter. It does not change. You cannot zoom in, you cannot zoom out. It is 50 millimeters whether you like it or not. It is a good lens and the reason I say that is because it's a fixed glass. It does not move inside. Nothing moves except the focus. So it's always gonna look the same. It's always gonna look nice and crisp and clean and good. Let's talk about another thing while I've got this lens right here. These guys right here, put, put these on. Those are your lens caps, okay? This is gonna protect your glass. It's gonna protect your lens. It's gonna keep that little baby nice and clean and party because you don't want to screw this up because most of the times they're pretty darn expensive. While I've got it right here, let's go into a couple more little things. Right here you have your auto focus on, manual focus on, okay? So the ring on the lens, that's gonna be how you actually focus in manual focus. So when you're focusing on manual focus, you're gonna have to adjust this ring and that's gonna pull your focus out or it's gonna push your focus in. Lenses have different aperture speeds. They're different speeds. So that's an F2.8. This is an F4.5. This is an F1.8, okay? Basically what that means is this can shoot way more low light than this can. This is 4.5, this is 1.8. So this is going to let in a lot more light then this lens is gonna let in, okay? Also, this is gonna get you a lot more blurred background than this is gonna get you. But to wrap up lenses, Google different types of lenses. Google, before you buy a lens, really figure out what that lens is good at, what that lens is for. Figure out which one you might exactly wanna have. F4 to 5.6, that's typically your kit lenses, okay? So now you understand the lens, okay? So different focal lengths, different speeds, autofocus, and then if it's image stabilized or not. And for the last thing on your cameras is gonna be the viewfinder. For instance, like we're looking through right now, this little peephole, this is your viewfinder that's looking straight through your lens, right? Now for photography and portraits, a lot of people are gonna look straight through this, it gives you the crispest image, the most natural, the cleanest look straight through here. Me personally, I always look on the back of the screen, I always look through the LCD viewfinder, Criticize me if you want, but I just think it's easier to look through the actual screen and kind of see what's going on a little bit more on a larger scale. Um, for video, for instance, right now, I'm looking straight at my viewfinder right now. That's my camera setup. See how the LCD screen is flipped out? So I can see exactly what's going on this second. So viewfinder is very basic. It's just letting you see what your camera is seeing. So let's recap on the three major things of your camera, the body which is your brain, okay? The lens, which is like your eyes, and the viewfinder, which just lets you see it all coming through it. Those three things, understand them, know them, do your research on it, you're gonna love your camera. Thanks for watching, it's been a blast. Have a great one, peace.